Hey, hey, Sidekick subscribers and viewers out there today, if you're not a Sidekick subscriber, you might want to be. Because day, uh, today is day 54 of the countdown to Shadow of War. This 54 days from now, and I'm bringing you daily content of Shadow of Mordor gameplay, but also a little tidbit, a little bit of gold nugget action information, as I call it, from Shadow of War. What we can expect in the game. And so each episode I talk about something new, and this one, boy, do I have some awesome stuff to tell you. This is a lot. It's going to be... Quite a bit to, um, to unload on you all, but I hope you're going to stick around and listen to it. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the, the unique aesthetic attributes of the regions that correlate to the overlord's tribe or clan. So, for example, let's say you have a feral tribe overlord. Now, let's say he's either your guy, the branded uh, ally, or he's even uh, Sauron's uh, his own appointed overlord. Either way... Those uh, clan types, whether that's Pharaoh, uh, Necromancer, Machines, what uh, they all have different clans. And if you don't know what those are, go back in the earliest episodes of this series. Um, check the playlist in the description below, um, and you can find a link to that. And then you can watch from episode like day 70 to day 71, learn about those clans. But either way, what you need to know in this one, we're talking about the aesthetic changes that happen and correlate to the tribe and clan. So again, for example, if the Overlord is a mystic, like the necromancer, then the region will have certain visual differences compared to an overlord from the feral tribe. So a mystic's overlord influence will change the actual appearance of the buildings, the structures, and various monuments that will be in the entire region, not just the fortress, mind you, but the entire region. That is the wilderness and all the places you can explore in an open world. And by the way, the open world is far greater than it's ever been from Shadow of Mordor. And it's something I'm frankly looking uh, really forward to because it's just going to be so unique. And this adds another um, aspect to the uniqueness of each region based upon the Overlord. So what are the things that we can expect to change? As we can actually watch from the new Nemesis system, uh, that's some gameplay from IGN first. If you're curious, you can go and watch that video. Um, you can just do a search for it. I'm sure you can find it. But basically, let me give you a lowdown on it. The down low, what is it all about? It, well, for example, if um, the Mystic Overlord is in control, the Necromancer's Bone Pillar will appear. It's basically a monument that's a bunch of skulls and scary looking bone things and what it does is it presents itself uh, in the in the world so you can actually visually see it and even destroy it but if you don't destroy it what it does is it grants powers to the enemies to rise fallen orcs or uryx back to life now again those are only orcs that you haven't cut their head off completely if you so you got to change your and adapt your gameplay we'll talk about that in a future episode but either way you want to make sure to destroy that necromancer's bone pillar and if you don't you're going to be fighting the same enemy over and over also upon promoting your own overlord in a conquered region let's say you want to conquer this mystic region well once you set your own overlord, things will visually change. That's right. It doesn't stay the same. It will all begin to change. It's under new uh, management, if you will. And so in that event, things will visually change. And such such things as the banner colors, uh, the towers, the buildings, they'll all become customized in light of the tribe. And replacing the Necromancer's Obscalus is going to be something, for example, if you place someone from the Feral Tribe, which emphasizes creatures and taming of beasts, it'll be the necromancer's um, pillar, the thing that raises people from the dead, it'll be changed to a dragon bait monument, which enables you to summon drakes and more feral beasts will appear in that region. So that's really cool, especially if you like drakes and creatures to help fight your battles. Now, overlords may also be swapped, and the visual aesthetic will change in congruence with the new overlord's tribe. So it's always interchangeable. As I mentioned in a previous episode, you can change who your overlord is, and then, as a result, it changes the appearance of that region. How cool is that? It seems that... Uh, Monolith has just not even scratched the surface of awesome stuff to reveal to us and not even begin to just explain all the intricate things that are in this game because of the unique nemesis system and unique orcs that are going to be fighting and, and fighting alongside of you. So I'm pretty excited about that. 
Um, leave a comment below what you think maybe the other tribes could change the appearance of stuff. Like, what do you think it'll change from the Dragon Bait Monument if you put someone that was, like, in the Machine Clan? Do you think it could change to something else? Leave a comment below what you speculate based upon the clans that are your favorite. And by the way, go ahead and comment what your favorite clan is so far to be. I'd love to hear it and have some interaction with you in the comments. Well, without further ado, let's make a transition now to some Shadow of Mordor 1 gameplay. Stay tuned for that. So I just avoided a lot of Karagors trying to uh, trying to attack me, but we're just making it up on this new building, another place to forge ourselves another quick access waypoint, whatever you want to call it. And uh, beginning into the next episode here of Shadow of Mordor gameplay, we're on our way to go get some War Chiefs branded for our own army. So now, here we go. The elven stones luminous as if they were cast from light. So we're going to make ourselves over to this tower, and this is the mission we want to go for. After Morrowind's possession by Saruman, uh, Lithriel needs your help to find the Elixir and heal her mother. So there you go. Apparently she's not 100% back to normal. She needs an Elixir. Unlike the King of Rohan, who just kind of snapped out of it and threw out the slither tongue dude and was like, Get out of my, my kingdom, you fool! You know, branding's so much fun, I just love to make the mark on the world. Stop the slave! Alright, you guys, you make sure to take care of those slaves. Serve them hand and foot. Alright, moving along here to the next tower waypoint on our way to make ourselves over to this next mission. Hey, this kind of looks like the marshlands, doesn't it? With the... Ooh, spooky. The undead. Fort Morn. Unlike... Morning as in morning of death. I think it was spelled just M-O-R and how about that a little bit different. Alright, here is the tower. Make our little climb up to the heavens. Oh, it looks like Gorgum. The broken shield escaped. Good for him. I see in a star moon like a him. Alright, so moving on here. Two minutes in and we've made it finally. This world is pretty large. I can't even fathom, I mean, just trying to grasp the sheer size of the next world in Shadow of War. It's going to be fantastic. So here we go. I didn't read it because I already read it, and so we're moving on. Basically, we're trying to go brand up some war chiefs up in this place and get ourselves an elixir for the Morrowind. Got to help the old lady get back to her health. How kind to detour all this way. Sorry for the dumb loading screens, but here's a cutscene for you. Attacking the camp would be ill-advised. He's on our side. I have no choice, Talion. I need my mother's elixir. Even the stranger says this is a fool's errand. I know who she reminds you of, Talion. She is of this world. You are not. Enough! We attack as planned. I will take care of the orcs. We could follow behind unseen. We get the medicine, and we leave. Ooh, someone's a little soft on this lady. Stoth, can we clear a path so Lothariel and the men may find the elixir? Emotion fogs your way. Yeah. Risk without reward is recklessness. This medicine will clear the Queen's mind and lead to answers of your past. Then may truth justify our alliance with these people. So we're going to stealth brand up some Uryx and at the same time win a girl. I mean, hey, his wife's dead, right? So it's really sad, but, um, well, you know, all right, stealth brand. And, uh, who is that? Is a war chief going on up in there? Okay, so all of these... Uh-oh, we're done been spotted by somebody. Let's do this. Let's do a little uh, sniper action. And then a little brand action. Collect some elf shot. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Dude, I'm so sorry. There we go. Oh, man. Almost had him... Um, you know, go head to head, toe to toe with that guy. 
What else we got up in here? There's another one. Too many archers, I'm telling you. But I think we're doing the right thing here with making this move. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Climb it, climb it. Cl yep, there you go. Coming down. Just got to reach you a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. A little short. This girl's a little bit on the short side. What can you say? All right. So we got a group of um, groupies over here. Oh, another one. Oh, this guy's even got some intel. I'll take that. All right. What do we got? What intel you got for me, sir? And some war chiefs? Let's just pick up this dude. Meat grinder. What an ugly nose this dude's got, too. Nasty looking weirdo. All right, so vulnerable self finishers, very easy to brand. There you go. Um, let's just dismiss him. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh, we've been spotted. Give me, give me, give me your mind and die. Oh, so brutal. I have no one noticed either. All right, so who's the first guy we can stealth brand? How about this guy? Oh, uh oh, somebody's spotting us. Somebody's spotting us. There we go. Oh, we've uh, we've stealth branded them all. Through the neck. <laughs> I got to make sure you get a picture of that one. But um, I remember I promised you guys some upgrades, and so since I'm in combat here, combat drain, that's going to be fantastic. Let's do that one. We need it. We need it. Shoulder charge, none interested. Shadow strike, that one I'm kind of interested in. But, you know, almost at this next tier, so I'm going to go ahead and leave him. We don't have daggers yet, which could come in handy. I'm going to wait on that, and, um, yeah, move on. All right, here's that epic shot. Let's see if I can't zoom in here. How do you get this zoomed in? Oh, it's so difficult. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Lady Morrowind. I mean, Lothariel. That was... That's disgusting. I can't navigate this thing. This is so difficult. Oh, my goodness. Look at that face. Look at that war cry. They're all... An, they're all... <laughs> This guy over here, he's like, holy crap, that guy's just got it in the neck so bad. That was so bad. Okay. Okay, this has got to be the best screenshot. Look at him over there. He's like, ah, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's just fantastic. All right. All right. All right. Yep. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. And off with the head. Oh, I think he's going for the alarm. Isn't he? Is he going for the alarm? No? Okay. Oh, no, guys. He's... Okay, never mind. He's dead. I was going to say, he's on, he's on our side. She knows without the keystone, the arch will fall. There's some little trinket over here I'm interested in it's a little side mission here but you know we're so close to it why not go for it right is it higher or lower that's that's the challenge is to know that was showing the rest of you how to survive an attack okay it was high high in the sky little 50 little 50 spot with a broken staff there it is oh cool this looks like Redagast staff here. Very cool. This wizard staff. Oh, that is... I must say this is pretty cool. Oh, there's the memory point. Cool, let's see it. Funny thing, that. They told us their names plenty of times. But we all forgot. To a man we forgot. It was like, okay, you know what? I've kind of lost interest. Sorry, guys. I just... I got it. You know, if you want to go read it, go back and read it. You can pause the screen and go check it out. But I'm done. Wizards. The Astari. What do you know of them? Is their power greater than yours? I have 
have not yet been tested against them. Saruman the White is the leader of the White Council. His knowledge of the Rings of Power is deep. If I stain our hands with Uru blood, when a Karagor can do it in our stead. That's, that's genius, Talion. Let's give ourselves Karagors the freedom they deserve. Next. I'm gonna stealth brand. Oh no, he went down. Stealth brand this guy. He can um, aid in the process. All right, have fun killing everybody. Moving on. Hopefully Karagor makes quick work of those fools. If they don't, I'm gonna be disappointed. I guess it was kind of outnumbered though. One Karagor and like a lot of guys. I feel like there's an archer up here. At least there should have been, right? No, supposedly not. All right, what else we got down here? Any more Karagors? Nothing else. All right, gonna have to finish the rest of them off myself. It appears. Oh, there's the other guy. Oh, how did I miss this fool? There we go. So, mission complete. There. Strive is infectious. I can see why men follow her conviction. Okay, Talion. That was totally like confessing you love her. Her drive is infectious. <laughs> okay, that's not only the thing that you've been infected with there, Talion. The Shire Moon calling it like it is. Oh. Hello, puppet. Give me your allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Oh, oh, sorry, dude. Didn't mean to pound your face in the wall like that. Oh, look, there's a friend of yours. Do a little warpy action. Warper warpers. Gotta love that move. Hey, look, there's Mr. Warchief. He's got a body slam, a grapple, a boomerang throw, and he's fearless. Never. Please. Way to go for you, buddy. All right, so what are we doing here? Well, it says he'll never flee, so let's test that. Let's see if we can't stealth kill him. Oh, it, it hurt him, though. Not much to look at, are you? Wonder what's underneath. <laughs> hey, that's insulting you. Insulting a beautiful woman here. There it is. I think I'm supposed to brand this guy, aren't I? There we go. And I'm supposed to do that, I guess. Whoa! Nice boomerang move, dude. There we go. Brand? No? Not branded yet? Okay. Oh! I think I just failed the mission. Did I? Oh, okay. He wasn't a war chief. Did you find what you needed? Take this to the queen immediately. I doubt any medicine of men will cure our queen. Let's hope that it heals your mother. We found this message. Orc leaders plan a gathering by the fishing village. We can prepare an ambush. I owe you a great thanks. I'm glad to be of assistance. We are lucky to have you. These are not your people, Talion. Remember your wife and son. Well, I mustn't keep you. Yes. Every moment is precious. Especially the moments with you, Talion. <laughs> I feel like she could have added that and it would just fit in ever so nicely. Bonus objective completed. Strength shines through her leadership. Oh, Gary goes again. In the eyes of our people with respect rather than fear. I can't believe How poetic. How poetic, Talion. So where is this little giblet? Oh, there it is. Grab this. 
let's see what we can't upgrade for this episode. And then, guys, we'll probably cut it, cut it up here. Cut it up for the next day. Chalk it up for the next day. Let's see, where am I going? Weapons runes. Hmm. If I can unlock some cool stuff. Let's see what kind of stuff we can unlock. If we unlock this, we could put on some other cool stuff. Okay. 20% chance critical hits with a sword will ignite enemies and the blade's flames glow orange. That's kind of cool. Um, combat finishers do extra damage. Okay. 33 chance cause an orc's head to explode when they're killed. That one's not bad. Not bad. 50% chance to reduce melee. Um, okay. Recover 10 health. Recover all focus and health shot. Last chance success. That never really happens. Never surrenders. You gain the additional last chance to return to fray in combat against Uryx. Not interested. So let's do this. Um, let's convert. Yep. Yep. Don't need these runes. What's this blue one? Increase melee damage by 19%. I'm thinking not. So nothing of interest there. Um, what about the bow? We got something on the bow that we could... Um, only one other increased headshots. Eh, it's not so good. So far, no, not uh, not uh, not see anything I like. So they do extra damage to captains. Cool. Elf shot plus four for combat brand. That one is that one's solid. And immune to poison. I'm gonna keep that. Recover to health when you do stealth drain or stealth brand. That's also good because I'm probably be doing a lot of stealth drain stealth. Oh, those are stealth. My bad. Recover all focus for killing. Uh, I think I'm gonna choose this one. So let's go ahead and unlock that. And um. Cool, look at that. Burning into place. Empty rune available. Recover four elf shot. Can't go wrong with that, boys. Let's go ahead and cash it. Well, we'll miss that. Upgrades. Do we have any attributes? This is what I was looking for before. Elf shot increase. Um, or health increase. Or focus increase. Let's do some focus. Sword rune slots. You know, we, we did that one already. Um... So it's elf shot health. I'm gonna go with some more health. And max, that's max focus, perhaps? Elf shot? Yeah, because we can regain a lot of elf shots, so I'll go with the focus. It's always good. Hocus, focus, focus. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the wet stone. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh, there, and there's a little mark on the back of it. Hey, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, drop me a like. If you want to watch more, don't forget to add this playlist to your playlist of watching this. And don't forget to subscribe so you know more daily content is coming your way. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is Hero87, your host, signing off. Later.